Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it is general and timeless, so just take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for the next person. If you'd like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or Akashic Records, you can go to 144bluerosetemple.com. Just a reminder that on June 15th, we do have the Reiki 1 certification and attunement if you would like to be certified in Reiki. And there's a few upcoming events. There are a few different retreats uh, throughout the summer, and there is a Wild Woman's Retreat in Puerto Rico for the 1111 Gateway, November 8th to the 10th. So check out the box below for all of the information. Uh, we do have two upcoming ceremonies in the state of Connecticut so feel free to also look in the uh, box below if any of those interest you and just thank you for all of your love and all of your support if my energy and my readings resonate with you feel free to subscribe and click on that notification bell we're gonna get right into your reading today Pisces divine mother and father holy spirit of God what do we have for Pisces today we have dance move your body to music dance with the rhythm of life manifest your dreams through dance all right, now some of you may be exploring your spirituality is also what's coming to mind, all right? Uh, some of you may be moving your body would really benefit you at this time. So whether it's dance or not, just move your body. Uh, it feels like there's energy that wants to be moved maybe out of your body or that would just help you in some way, shape, or form. What's also coming through is maybe exploring your spirituality when it comes to like co-creation and manifestation. Uh, dance is one way, like trance. Uh, maybe some of you are scripting. I'm even seeing like uh, speaking life onto your water. It's 33 as soon as I say that. So that can resonate with you. Uh, what else do we have for the Pisces today? What else do we have for the Pisces today for this dance? We have sanctuary, privacy, respected boundaries and taboos. Why do we have dance? And the mirror. You know what's also coming to mind? Reflections and the mirror. You may be a little bit taboo, Pisces, okay? You are someone who you think outside of the box. You are taboo. You are a uh, enigma, okay? You're an enigma. You are out of the box. The mirror, know thyself. All right, some people, Pisces, maybe feel like you are too open. And it's interesting. I always wear an outfit that is very intuitive. I haven't even worn this shirt in like six months. But this is also kind of a wild shirt. There are some people, Pisces, that kind of want you to be a little bit more tamed than you are, but you're actually just mirroring them. All right, 44, as soon as I say that, so 444, you are who you are. And there's some people, Pisces, in your life who maybe don't like that you think outside of the box. They don't like that you're just free. You know, I'm getting even the energy of like the Garden of Eden, right? Um, so for you, maybe this is very innocent, but you're m reflecting, right, to someone else maybe. Um, something within them more that they maybe have a problem with. Maybe they're judgmental. Maybe they kind of low-key wish that they were free. You know, uh, and that is a Piscean energy. Pisces is pretty fluid and flowing. Um, there are some people, though, that feel like you actually. Some people find you disrespectful. Three, three, three. OK, Pisces, some people may find you even disrespectful, but you're actually not. You're mirroring them. Know thyself. OK, and so you just do things out of the box. You're different. I see you as someone that's like very colorful and vibrant. But for people who are like this or who are very, say, disciplined, orderly, you mirror reflect them a lot. All right. Uh, sacred clown is also coming to mind, like Hayoka type of energy. Um, there's people who think that you should be a little bit more modest or private in some way, shape or form. But that's not who you are. And it, what's also coming through, not that you're not like modest or private. Uh, it's very innocent. OK. Um, and you're really and I mean, like kind of reflecting back to these people who, again, maybe they just don't feel free in some way, shape, or form. Okay, we do have the chariot here. Four, Pisces. Why do we have sanctuary, dance, and the mirror? Why do we have sanctuary, dance, and the mirror? You're in beautiful energy, Pisces, okay? Magician card, which is manifestation, the empress, and the two of wands. So, whatever this magic you are magic pisces you're just a magical being mystical being and uh whatever that this is for you it's still bringing everything in for you and why are you receiving 
because it's coming from a pure place. I do see you in this place of receiving for this current energy that you're in. You're in this empress energy. Okay. Whether you're a male or female, the empress energy is receiving. Okay. A lot of Venus energy as well. Um, but whatever it is that you're manifesting, it's coming in for you. Okay. You do have two of wands. So there's new things coming in for you. Why do we have magician card? Why do we have the empress? Why do we have two of wands? Yeah. Pisces. So Yes, there's this energy here where it's like, what is Pisces doing? Pisces needs to stop what they're doing. You have the Witch of Swords over here. This is know thyself. Know your truth. All right? Uh, it feels like there's maybe people around you, Pisces, that want to tell you about you. But you're really actually mirror reflecting them. All right? So there's nothing wrong with you, Pisces. Again, I see you here in a beautiful energy. There's actually people who maybe feel like you should be more modest or this or that. That you They want to put you into a box. But you can't do that to Pisces, you know? And so keep doing what you're doing, Pisces. Know thyself with the mirror over here. Um, we do have Nine of Swords, Temperance, and the World card, okay? So if any of you are in your head, maybe about your manifestations, we have Magician card here with the Nine of Swords. Magician card is also Gemini energy. So is the Nine of Swords. So maybe a little bit in your head when it comes to those things coming in. But it does feel like more of the past energy, all right? You over here, I see you giving and receiving an equal exchange with the Temperance card and Empress. That's a beautiful energy to be in Temperance and both Empress. I do see you receiving. It's a lot of creative energy, but also giving and receiving an equal exchange. And then we do have the World card and the Two of Wands, all right? So this beautiful energy here, Pisces, is bringing you into a brand new cycle. And I do feel like you're receiving something over here. There's some sort of opportunity that's coming in with this new cycle. Why the World card with the Two of Wands? Yeah, you have a lot of support coming in. You have a lot of celebration. Three of pentacles, okay? So you could be seeing the number 333. And Pisces, when you are authentically yourself, it brings in everything that's authentically, that's yours, you know? So the people, the maybe collaborations, the support, the abundance, the opportunities, the experiences. However, I do see here that you, maybe you are a little bit wild and free in some way, shape, or form, okay, with this dance card, the mirror, and then sanctuary. Um, it's like people are trying to control you, but that's just mirror reflecting, though, of like, you should actually release control. You know, Pisces, I see you in a beautiful energy. So whatever that that energy is, um, again, you're, you're still receiving, um, and I do feel like you're minding your business when it comes to that. And as soon as I say that, I get a message. All right, so you have the Three of Cups. You have some sort of celebration in, coming in, rather. You have support here. Why the World card, Three of Cups, and the Two of Wands? Pisces, you're so abundant here, okay? You do have the Five of Wands, so there may have been some sort of conflict. Um, and then the Four of Swords, so I do feel like that's been maybe put to rest or has passed by, you know? Um, and what's coming through, is, there is some sort of like underlying conflicting energy but don't allow yourself to absorb it, okay? Because I see you in beautiful energy. I'll get some cards on the sanctuary dance in the mirror afterwards. Nine of Pentacles, okay? You're so supported here, Pisces. You're entering this brand new reality. You're having a paradigm shift where there's a lot of support, a lot of abundance that surrounds you, all right? Nine of Pentacles, maybe you've been working on your own for some time. There might even be people coming in that want to work with you, that want to collaborate with you or celebrate with you, okay? Why Nine of Pentacles with the Three of Cups? Shifting perspectives, okay? The hanged one over here. So Pisces, this is Piscean energy. And we talked about this in the Sacred Tarot course, that Pisces tends to, I mean, they embody all signs, all 12 signs. So Pisces, this is your card. You have the ability to see from all different perspectives, you know? Um, now I'm going to see what that is. Why the hanged one here for this reading for Pisces? You have the Eight of Swords over here, all right? And so Pisces. And what is this about? The Hanged One and the Eight of Swords. Two of Pentacles. You have the ability to adapt over here, okay? Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. You're not stuck, all right? So you don't stay stuck in maybe one thing. Maybe you're even someone who you're always moving, you know? Um, with the Eight of Swords over here. But you're shifting your perspective, or people are shifting their perspective in regards to you. Okay, I have another clarification for this Eight of Swords. The Moon card, okay? So for some of you, maybe you're reflecting this to other people. Maybe this is even you, Pisces, where you're shifting your perspective on yourself. 
you know, maybe you are not allowing other people, other things, programs, systems to influence you in different ways. All right. Why the moon card with the eight of swords? Queen of cups. Okay. Why the moon card, eight of swords and the queen of cups? Ace of Swords, you're finding your authentic truth. Nine of Cups, okay? So we have Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Pisces, no one can tell you who it is that you are. One, two, three. You know, um, and I do feel like these people are coming more from like a judgment place, okay? You are someone who cannot be defined, who cannot be restricted, who cannot be put in a box. Maybe you consider yourself an, like an enigma, okay? Um, and you have this ability to adapt or perhaps even like shape shift kind of energy because we do have these two, you know, um, patterns here and you have two of pentacles. You have this ability to just be very fluid. You know, maybe you even identify as fluid, okay? And um, you don't fit into the norms and you're not going to, all right? That's what I have for you, Pisces. So remain in your truth over here, Ace of Swords. What advice do we have for Pisces? What advice do we have for Pisces? You have Eight of Cups and then you do have the Page of Pentacles here, okay? So for some of you, I do... Why the Eight of Cups? Why the Eight of Cups with the Tower? You have the devil card, okay? I do feel like you're walking away from something over here, Pisces. Tower card, devil card. And why the page of pentacles? The witch of pentacles. For some of you, you are going to be walking away from a job that does not serve you. Why? Because it keeps you restrained, okay? We do have the star card here. You are meant to shine, Pisces. Devil card, tower. For some of you, this may even be work, okay? Maybe your work environment in some way, shape, or form uh, is restricting you, okay? It could be the people around you, etc. Tower card with the devil card. It does feel like you are breaking free from these chains. Uh, and for some of you, uh, again, there's, especially if you're like in a nine to five matrix kind of energy, you want to be yourself. You just want to be yourself. You want to be your authentic self. And it feels like maybe your work environment uh, restricts you from being able to fully express yourself authentically, okay? And for some of you, it's your work environment or other co-workers and people in your work environment that feel like you're too much. You're not too much um, at all. You know, you're never too much. It's maybe just too much for the wrong person or the wrong environment, but you're never too much, Pisces. Now... We have Ten of Pentacles over here, so you're in a Ten of Pentacles energy. I want to get some more on this privacy. Why privacy here with Sanctuary? The Emperor? Yes. The, and then you have the Page of Swords. So you actually, Pisces, it feels like you're like defending yourself to other co-workers of yours. Um, Emperor card is like a work energy, work environments, masculine energy. Page of Swords is on defense a little bit. Can also be communication, hope, faith. Um... Yeah, it's other people in your work environment, Pisces, all right? And then you do have Three of Swords over here. So I don't know if you're necessarily liked in your work environment, but you are who you are, Pisces, all right? And we do have Seven of Wands. So you're very protected when you are your authentic self and living in your authentic truth. What else do we have for Pisces when it comes to this work environment? The Lady of the Gift, Generosity and Receiving. All right. So I do feel like, again, you're in this energy of receiving and you have the queen of the light over here. All right. So you're in a beautiful energy. You just have people over here that they don't like you, you know, like they don't necessarily like you. It feels like for some of you, it's like, oh, your coworkers, right? People that you work around or maybe even people in the same industry are just bothered by your authenticity in some way, shape or form. It doesn't mean that you have to change Pisces. But just knowing that, okay? Um, what else do we have for this privacy, emperor, and page of swords? Yeah, optimism, aggression, okay? And then divine guidance, higher knowing. You already know this. You can feel their energy, all right? So you could feel their energy. You know how people feel about you. Um, and I do feel like there's some sort of aggressive energy here. You do have the fire prince, okay? But you're still receiving, and it's because you're just your authentic self, okay? And for some of you, you will be leaving some sort of like work environment where you're surrounded by people who maybe even constantly sending you evil eye. You know, again, these people, 
They're bothered by you in some way, shape, or form. What else do we have for Pisces when it comes to this reading? Third party, prayer. The wheel turns in your favor anyway. And new moon and life force energy, okay? New moon, which we did have the new moon. Does that resonate with you? The wheel's turning in your favor. Uh, it does feel like there's a third party that's involved in some way, shape, or form. Maybe some form of gossip, etc. Uh, and prayer, okay? So be in your prayer at this time. What's a gonna get a few more messages for Pisces what are some final messages for this reading for Pisces be patient you're not patient enough patience is not about doing nothing patience is knowing profoundly that nothing can be done to change the situation in the present moment wait and the inevitable will materialize okay so now when it comes to the tower and the devil card there again could have been what is this mountain solitude enact new strategies okay so I do feel like for some of you maybe even like smear campaign kind of energy again there's just third party energy but it's regarding work okay uh and you do have change your lifestyle over here uh address discomfort before it's too late nurture your body through strength uh mindful exercises so some of you are being led to maybe dance etc and then we do have appreciate yourself so that is a message here is appreciate yourself appreciate your uh authentic self solitude okay um i do feel like for some of you you're coming into solitude because there's again whatever it feels more work environment right or like your employees fellow co-workers or people in the same industry um you may be someone who's in solitude a lot you know maybe you've come across this a lot you know or maybe after this type of situation you kind of come more into solitude you know to be with yourself the solitude from the northeast indicates a fresh new cycle so there is a new cycle coming in for you pisces meditate and reflect upon your accomplishments and the lessons learned engage in emotional and physical cleansing to elicit new ideas make the best of your timing end of winter and beginning of spring and then we do have enact new strategies uh, never employ tactics that have failed you once before. If you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. In procrastination, you forfeit opportunities. When inspiration strikes, act decisively. All right. And so for some of you, there's also this message of you can't control those people. Either. Those people are trying to maybe control you in some way, shape or form. You can't control how other people perceive you either. So for some of you, you may be just distancing yourself from people who feel this way instead of trying to convince them or fit into where you don't fit into you know i do feel like there are opportunities coming in that are even higher for you and more authentically aligned to who it is that you are and your natural vibration i'm gonna get a final message what's a final message for the pisces for this reading too much is hidden from you and then you do have caution secrecy okay and so again for some of you these are your co-workers it's the same industry or um yeah employers employees right what you don't see is that you're surrounded by that energy okay and it's a little bit of the evil eye energy there's things it is that you don't see um perhaps the energy of plotting and planning but keep going keep going okay um i do feel like god uses you sometimes to maybe mirror over here with the mirror card over on behind these cards all right, so you don't see everything quite yet. Also, trust what you know, trust what you feel. You know, so if uh, other, say, employees, colleagues, your work environment, etc., maybe they don't say it to you. If you feel it, you know it. You know, they feel a particular type of way about you, okay? But it doesn't mean to change who you are. I see you in beautiful energy. But I do see that the people around you um, don't necessarily like the energy that you're in right or that you are and that's okay i do feel like you shifting your environment actually brings you uh into something higher right where you're actually receiving even more support you're receiving even more abundance as well that's what i have for you pisces i hope that it resonates i'm sending you so much love and so many blessings to your day